Hey guys, if you're on the lookout for a high spec Windows laptop on a budget, then there's not that many options out there unless you're willing to spend a lot of money. I'm talking about the $800, $1,000 and beyond price points. This is why I wanted to introduce this brand to you today. This is the Chewy CoreBook X. It's from a site called Hecker.com where you can buy this laptop, many other laptops and a whole bunch of tech and retail items at a very discounted price. Now, just to show you guys the laptop I have, I'm just gonna show you some of the key specifications, but this CoreBook X comes in at $550, but you can use my code in the description to get a discount, not only on this laptop, but any other item across the Hecker.com website that's over $30 get a discount, check it out. I've got the link and the detailed information in the description down below. So let's take a deep dive into various different categories of reviewing this laptop. I'll have them all chaptered down in the timeline below and let's get straight into it. In terms of the design of the CoreBook X, it has this sleek space gray design all around made of metal alloy and plastic chassis. The weight of the laptop is 1.5 kilograms, so although it's not the lightest, it's still easy to take with you anywhere. On the left hand side, you have the AC adapter, USB-C ports, and on the right hand side, you have a single traditional USB port, a headphone port, and further down, a micro SD card slot, which is great if like myself, you like transferring videos from your recordings directly onto your laptop with the SD card. There's an integrated webcam in the bezel at the top, which is a lower 720p camera. So although it's not HD, this is one of the places where costs are cut to make this laptop budget friendly. There are two stereo speakers at the bottom. They can actually play relatively loud at around 83 decibels, but I would say the linearity of the bass is quite average. And I would still recommend using Bluetooth headphones for listening to music or watching videos with this laptop. And here's an example of the audio. The setup was quick, easy and straightforward. It took no more than 5 minutes to get up and running with Windows pre-installed. The first thing I did was install and set up an antivirus kit and Microsoft Office with the installation taking no more than 10 minutes for both. The screen is actually a high quality panel with deeper contrast, brighter backlight and wider colours than most other laptops in this budget price range. You have very minimal 5mm bezels with edge to edge glass. The screen brightness maxes out at 355 lumens, so for most indoor usage that is actually very bright, but it's worth noting that outdoor visibility is limited since the glossy screen contributes to the heavy glare, so the backlight isn't bright enough to overcome outdoor lighting, which would be the case for most laptops with glossy screens. The colours on the screen cover all of the sRGB standards, which is pretty impressive for a budget laptop of this price. In terms of the keyboard, I was pleasantly surprised. The feedback of the keys is crisper and stronger than on most other Ultrabooks, which give a more satisfying typing experience. One thing to note is that the right shift key is reduced in size to make room for full sized arrow keys, which have been problematic in other laptops in the past, so that's something I would be fine getting used to, but overall I would say it has a clean and minimal aesthetic. The keyboard also comes with two stage backlighting. It's not too bright, but good enough to help you see what you're typing when it's dark. The touchpad is quite roomy. It's 12 by 7.9 centimeters, and it has a firm and noticeably louder feedback when clicking. There are multiple gestures that you can make on the touchpad, which are pretty responsive as you should expect. When they say this laptop has all day battery, I found it lives up to that claim. Out of the box, it features an 8 hour battery, which is adopted by a 46.2 watt hour high capacity lithium ion battery. And it uses great system level power management to make the laptop last longer, no matter what you're using it for. Productivity wise, I have absolutely no problems using this for work, browsing the internet, checking emails, taking calls, etc. 
With the 16 gigabyte RAM, it makes multitasking so much smoother and you don't need to worry about the system lagging. If you have too many Chrome browser tabs open, for example, it should absolutely be fine. Likewise, connecting it to my ultra wide monitor using the USB-C port was just as simple as plug and play. And I had no issues with lag or response times. But one thing I wanted to test out is the gaming capability. Just so I can really test the laptop to its limits, I downloaded Asphalt 9 from the Microsoft Store and although this laptop doesn't come with any dedicated graphics card for gaming, the inbuilt Iris Plus 655 graphics does a decent enough job whereby the Asphalt 9 ran pretty smooth without any lag or frame drops on medium to high settings. So I would say that if you wanted to play games on this laptop, you would be absolutely fine to do so as long as you set it to medium settings and no more than 100 frames per second. After having used this laptop for a while, I don't have any real complaints with it in terms of performance for this price point. My final thoughts is for $550 or 410 pounds in the UK, this is an excellent buy. I think this is far more valuable for the money than all of the competition brands that you guys are all aware of that have very similar specs. And for the three by two aspect ratio screen, I think that just works perfectly for people that work from home, people that use laptops in the office or even students. And when you pair that with the tactile keyboard, this makes it the ideal laptop for all of your work and productivity needs. So check it out. The link to the hacker.com website for this laptop and their main website is all down below. I've got the discount code there as well. If you have any thoughts, feedback or questions, make sure to ask them down in the comments. I'll try to help you as much as I can. New videos out every week. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out any cool gadgets just like this. And I will catch you guys next time. Take care.